Muy buenos días. Hey everybody, Scott here from eSpanish Teacher, and I want to take a moment to clarify a concept that gets a lot of new Spanish speakers stuck. That's the concept of subject pronouns. Now, subject pronouns can be confusing, but they're really not. I have a few theories as to why they are, but I won't go into them. To understand what subject pronouns are, we really have to just break apart the term and look at each piece separately. So let's start talking about what they are, why they're important, and how to use them. First, subjects. Subjects are simply nouns that partner with verbs. So if you have a verb, you need a subject or a noun that's performing that verb. Let's take, for example, the verb to run and to eat. You need to have somebody actually doing the running or the eating, like he runs and she eats. Okay, he and she are examples of subject pronouns. Next, a pronoun. A pronoun is simply a noun that replaces or simplifies a noun. Let me give you an example. Let's imagine that we're having a conversation about a recent visit I had with my doctor, and I'm relating to you some of that visit. I'll say something like this, which will sound somewhat unnatural. My doctor was glad to see me. My doctor said that I need to change my diet. My doctor said I should eat less fat, and my doctor wants to see me in three months. Okay, that doesn't sound very natural. Let me replace my doctor with a pronoun to bring out a more natural conversation. For example, my doctor was really happy to see me. She said I need to change my diet. She thinks I should eat less fat, and she wants to see me in another three months. Okay, that second example sounds a lot better. It's more natural. It flows better. And that's because I replaced my doctor with she, a simple pronoun. So that's a brief overview of subject pronouns, what they are and why they're important. Now let's talk about how they're used in Spanish. First, yo means I, tu means you, and make sure you have that written accent. That's very important. El means he or it, and again, that written accent over the E is very important. Ella means she or it. Usted means you, and I've got usted highlighted here in red to connotate or communicate that we don't have the equivalent of usted in the English language. It's the formal version of you. If you're speaking to somebody who uh, deserves an added degree of respect. Next is nosotros, which means we. And then vosotros, which is used mostly in Spain, and it means you guys. It's kind of that informal um, speaking to a group of friends that don't necessarily deserve an added degree of respect. Like you're speaking to your buddies, for example. Ellos means they, and it's typically referring to a group of males or maybe a, a mix, a group of like some males and some females. Ellos means they, referring to a group of females. And finally, ustedes, which is the plural of usted, which is when you're speaking to a group that deserves some added respect. And again, we don't have that same word or we don't really use it that same way in English. Okay, so here they are, the subject pronouns. You might be more familiar though with this chart. These are the very same subject pronouns I just showed you without their conjugations. And this is probably something you've seen before in a textbook or maybe up on the wall in your classroom, but it's very important. It's one of the first things that new Spanish speakers see. It's their first exposure to the language. And that's why it's so important that you understand them. Now, subjects determine how verbs are conjugated. And we're not gonna to get too deep into verbs during this video lesson. I just wanna briefly touch on this fact. Subjects determine how you conjugate verbs. There are three types of verbs, AR, ER, and IR. And here I'm showing you the verb conjugations for those three types of verbs. But we're not actually gonna get into verb conjugation in this video, I'll save it for a later one. But I wanted to stop there so that you could see that direct connection from subjects to verb conjugation, because that's one of the most important concepts for new Spanish speakers to understand. All right, let's leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this brief lesson on subject pronouns. Feel free to check out my other videos as they become available. Gracias. Hasta luego.